Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So as many of you know, if you watched my video from last week, I put together a little box for the post office's Stamp Out Hunger campaign. And this is the box. And um, last weekend, I actually went through my pantry because I wanted to give another box or like throw in some more stuff. And then I started looking at some expiry dates because they are very conscientious for this campaign. They want like non-perishable items that are not expired. And I started looking and I realized all those sauces have expired. As all of this stuff in my stockpile, the message in this video, guys, is to check the expiry dates. Maybe with a magic marker, throw it on the front and um, just look at what you have. Look at what you're buying. If you are not like if you don't have a family of like 20 people and you just go through the stuff this quickly, um, just maybe just want reevaluate why you're buying so much stuff. Yes, it's free. Yes, it could be a money maker, but there is no way like all those barbecue sauces have expired and they expired in January along with the fruit. It's been expired for three months. The mustard has been expired for like about a year or something like that. It's crazy. Um, but it's just an absolute picture of waste. I am really embarrassed by this, but um, it's all got to go in the trash. I can't donate it. Um, and also, a lot of you who might be preppers or you might say, hey, stop being such a baby and you can use this. Uh, problem why I won't use it is um, I've gotten food poisoning before and um, I actually ended up in the hospital. So that's why I'm very apprehensive to have anything that's like six months expired or more. Um, and this mustard, I think it expired in like, September of 2017, um, my husband can have something else. I don't eat mustard. And all of this fruit was um, expired, I think, in 2016 or 17. It was pretty old stuff, and um, it's deceiving because it's in that packaging, but the stuff does go bad, and I just did not want to chance it, especially with fruit. If you ever had food poisoning, um, it can really disrupt your entire week because you can be like recovering it for days. It is very, very hard on your body. And just to show you um, one last shot here in the garbage, all of my barbecue sauce, I could have donated this. I gave a lot to my in-laws, but I still had so much left, and it leaves me to the question, why do I need to haul all this stuff. Yes, I like to get it for free, but when it does this sort of thing, you know, I'm kind of like embarrassed. So check, 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 double check your dates, rotate your stockpile so you don't end up in this situation. Um, hopefully there's a lesson between these lines. I'll see you guys in the next one.